Hey everyone, it's Jenna Melanson from Canadian Beats Media, and I'm here with Juno-nominated artist Joey Stiles, who's located in Haida Gwaii, BC, for our very first segment of Zoomies, a fast-paced interview designed for those of us who have a very low attention span, but want to learn about Canadian artists. Welcome, Joey. Hello, hello, how are you guys doing? Okay, so the first five questions are based around Joey and his music. So, care to give us a brief introduction? My name is Joey Styles, as you said, and I am an eclectic musician. I sometimes call it hybrid music. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, some hip hop, a little bit of pop influence, some indie, and even some Western country in this last project. Okay. Which five words would you say describe your sound? Uh, serious silly um thoughtful spiritual and um insightful awesome um, you have a new album horse thieves and bootleggers which has just been released if you had to choose only one song for a new listener which would you choose grandfather it's uh it's about it's about like uh, where i come from playing the great plains of canada so, you know, my grandfather was a trapper, like a, not like a trapper by nowadays, but by old days. Okay. Um, your recent single, One Stop Shop, was accompanied by a music video. What was one highlight of the shoot? Working with my son, Matisse. The kids fly. Awesome. When writing, where do you tend to pull inspiration from? Just like all the other songs out there just the universe you know the songs are already there it's just us to throw all the words in the soup bowl and make that bowl of soup for the listeners okay now we're on to the just for fun portion since it's winter what's your favorite winter activity staying inside and eating snacks <laughs> same <laughs> um what's your go-to karaoke song my way by frank sinatra Love it. If you had the opportunity to tour with one Canadian artist and one non-Canadian artist, who would you choose? If you count Orville Peck as a Canadian, because I've seen him be counted as a Canadian, but also yeah. some other nationalities. So um, I definitely Orville Peck. I just love his his big grand stage show. I like all the outfits, and he's a great musician. And for American. There's so many uh, great American musicians, but you got me there. I, I'm liking this new group I just started getting into called Hippie Sabotage. And I think they're somewhat in my lane. So it'd be nice to build a tour with someone else who's doing similar type stuff as I am. Cool. I'll we'll have to check them out. If you wrote a book about your career, what would you title it? The Overachiever. <laughs> awesome. And last but not least, if you could only listen to one artist other than yourself for the rest of your life, who would you choose? Eesh. Hard one. Yeah. Well, at this point, every year I have like a one artist that's like the guy I take for the or the or the he or she that I take for the rest of my life. But presently, this last year, I'd probably say it might be Willie Nelson. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so now you have a chance to promote yourself your music your upcoming release your recent release anything you want and you don't have to zoom go for it all right well uh over the last year and some i've been working on my project called horse thieves and bootleggers and i'm proud to have it out now the first song was grandfather which is, tells a story about my family and growing up my dad would always tell us about how it was on the res, how my ancestors were the greatest horse thieves. And that sometimes things were tough. So my grandfather was like known as like uh, the bootlegger on the res, you know? So I always hear these stories. And my dad always tells us that like, you know, we never, we didn't do bad things because we had to, we did bad things because we needed to, you know, we weren't given much opportunity. So if, if my grandfather wanted to, uh, my mushroom, I want to give his, his kids and his grandkids a good life. He had to live a tough life like that. And, you know, my dad told me stories when he was like nine, 
he started going to the trap line, his dad, when he was nine years old. And by the time he was like, I think he was 10 years old, he started running his own trap line. So his, his dad would leave him out in the middle of nowhere with just a gun in it by himself as a 10 year old boy in the middle of the bush in minus 40 weather that happens in Saskatchewan. So just hearing these stories fascinated me. I have a background in hip hop music, a lot of trap music. Um, that's, that was a story that inspired me because I come from a demographic that really loves hip hop. You know, I'm a native male from Saskatchewan. You know, I have family in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Alberta, and in the plains, the prairies, we fill up a large statistic of uh, people that have faced less than favorable opportunities. So that hip hop really spoke to me. And I took that, like, you know, back home, there's a lot of bull riders. There's a lot of, we have like a hundred head of horse back at our family ranch. So, and those, a lot of those horses actually came from the, the first of the horses came from stealing horses. So I thought this would be the perfect kind of project, kind of tell my family story and where I am now, because, you know, my first project has talked a lot about, you know, partying. Um, I was living like a bachelor type lifestyle. So you'd imagine what some of the songs were about, but now I'm a family man, you know, every day I give praise that I have kids that I have a wife and I'm a different person now. So I want everyone to see that like, that. Uh, um, I've changed and that's natural. If you don't change and I feel sorry for you because this life is uh, you got one life. So if you're just stuck, like just eating one kind of food for your whole life from the time you're born, I feel sorry for you when there's all these different kinds of foods out there. Yeah. Awesome. This was great. Um, and congratulations on your album release. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So thank you for joining me. Yeah, mom. Um, also, before I, I go, one more thing oh. is just check out the new music video finally. It's with myself okay. and Lancelot Knight. Um, you can look for that, and we have a couple more releases coming out. Okay. And I want to shout out my uh, Yellowstone family. You know, we've been talking with them again about maybe getting some songs in some upcoming seasons. Okay. Maybe the tricks that they're working on it. And um, yeah, I just want to keep working hard and encourage everybody at home to figure out what it is you're meant to do here on earth and do it.